I understand from using the self-awareness, one can gain monetary gains. Uh, is this the main thrust of your um, evangelistic uh, efforts? I'm glad you mentioned money. I guess monetary is just one of those big, sophisticated academic ways of saying money. <laughs> uh, so I'll just say money. I have a very interesting definition also for money, and I've had the pleasure uh, of speaking on this subject in New York City to some of the Wall Street people here lately, and I've gotten inquiries from people all over the nation about this. To me, money is the getting power of self-awareness. Money is not simply facts and figures, dollars and cents, but that which the self-awareness of the person gets. And if a person builds a prosperous and successful self-awareness or self-image within himself, this will lead him into the ways and means of getting money or whatever form of good that he wants. This is the ultimate goal. It's what the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal is to teach the individual to be master of his own mind and affairs by manipulating his own self-image. So it's self-mastery that is ultimately my goal in teaching people. Now, being poor or being without money or whatever is a condition of the mind. It is. Everything is a condition of the mind. The idea comes first, and then the manifestation of that idea. 